children, it's now time to listen to the story. But before you listen to the story, let me make the, this announcement. Did you learn the memory verse? If so, please record it and send it back to us. Again, the email ID would be thewaybibleschool at gmail.com. And did you like the story? You want to tell us the same story? Please record the story and send it back to us to thewaybibleschool at gmail.com. Children, after you listen to this story, there is a link given in the description box where you can download the worksheet. So please download the worksheet, uh, complete the worksheet, do the worksheet, and take a picture of it and send it back to us to the way Bible School at gmail.com so that we can display it on the last day. Hope you would enjoy the lesson and hope you would enjoy doing the worksheet. Thank you very much. We'll see you tomorrow. Hello children, how are you? My name is Percy and today we are going to learn something very special. See what I'm wearing? I'm wearing a friendship band. Yes, my friend gave it to me. I believe you all have best friends too, right? Today we are going to learn a story about two best friends. If you see this picture, we see the picture of David and Jonathan. Yes, he's David and he's Jonathan. So today we are going to learn about their story. Jonathan was a king's son and the king's name was Saul. Being a king's son, Jonathan was a mighty soldier. He used to fight the battles. He was courageous, strong and determined to do anything he wanted. But above all, he loved God. You can see that in this picture here. See, he's a mighty warrior, <clears throat> but he loved God. And people respected Jonathan and they trusted Jonathan. On the other side, David was a shepherd boy. He used to take care of his father's sheep. He was handsome, he was ruddy, he had bright eyes, but he was also a mighty person. You know how? You can see in this picture, you can see a lion. He's sitting on it. He saved the sheep from the lion. Yes, when the lion and the bear came to attack his father's sheep, he with his bare hands caught hold of them and slayed them. Above all, David also loved God. He had a gifting to play a beautiful instrument, musical instrument called harp. You can see in this picture that David is playing the harp. Saul was unwell sometimes and whenever he is unwell, David was called to play the harp for him. And when David played the harp, he used to feel good. This is how David and Jonathan met. David slowly started to fight the battles for the kingdom of Israel. <clears throat> And because he loved God, God gave him victory all the time. And people of Israel started to like David a lot. Jonathan was supposed to be the king after Saul. But God said, David, be, David will be the king after Saul. When Saul heard that, he was very upset and jealous. He wanted to kill David. But Jonathan, on the other hand, he was happy. He said, my best friend is going to be the king. Let God's will be done. He was a very good friend. But Saul in his jealousy wanted to kill David. So when David heard that, he was very sad. He went to Jonathan and said, Jonathan, my friend, what sin did I do that your father wants to kill me? Jonathan said, yes, my friend, I know it is not fair at all. I really want to confirm to see if, Jonathan, if, if Saul really wants to kill you. So they made a plan. After three days, let's meet in this particular field and David, you hide behind a great stone. I would come with my servant and shoot three arrows. And if I say the arrows are on this side, come and collect it. That means you are safe. But if I say the arrows are beyond you, that means you are unsafe. You need to run and hide yourself. They agreed. But even before they parted, they hugged one another. They wept and they made a promise. We will be friends forever. Whatever may happen, we will never stop loving one another. We will be faithful to one another. And they made that promise and they departed. Jonathan now went to his father and said, Father, why do you want to kill David? What wrong did he do? Please spare him. Saul was very upset when Jonathan said that. He took a spear and hurled at him. Jonathan just escaped. But he knew one thing now, that Saul really wanted to kill David. So he quickly ran to David after three days when he was hiding behind the stone. And he took the arrows, three arrows and shot 
and he told the servant boy go get the arrows they are beyond you then david knew that he had to run and escape for his life so he escaped and hid in a cave and was living in the cave for a long time he was very sad but even before we he went away to hide in the cave they hugged one another again and they made a promise that they would be kind to each other's family after some time jonathan and saul died in the battle david heard that and he was very very sad but he kept his promise you know how he found out whoever is alive um and in the family of jonathan and then he found out that there was a person named mephibosheth who was alive he went and brought that person to his kingdom and every single day mephibosheth used to eat on the king's table he was taken care of very very specially he kept his promise true friends who love one another keep their promises they are faithful to one another i heard a story of two friends named priya and riya they really loved one another but there was another girl named radhika she was jealous of these two friends she wanted to separate them very badly she made a plan there were exams going on people were studying very hard and that day that those times what she did was radhika she went to riya's bag and took a notebook from riya's bag and slipped it into priya's bag and when riya came to study for the exam the book is not found and she started to search every bag and found that her book was in priya's bag she was very upset she said priya how could you do that you're my best friend why did you have to steal my book you should have just asked me but priya said no i really didn't take your book please believe me but riya did not believe and their friendship broke but priya loved jesus she used to pray every day and tell jesus jesus you know how much i love riya she's my best friend please bring her back to me do something my lord and then she always was taught to help others and pray for others and god heard her prayer one day they all went to a school picnic and there was a very big swimming pool where people who knew swimming could you know jump and dive and and have fun now priya knew how to swim very nicely on the other hand radhika did not know how to swim but she being a bully wanted to show off that she can swim so she ran into the swimming pool and she plunged into it but because she did not know swimming she started to drown and she started to cry help help somebody help me you know who helped her priya priya had all the reasons to say you made my friendship break you deserve it no she believed god and she did what jesus said to help your friends or to help your enemies to love your enemies so she ran she jumped into the pool and she saved radhika and brought her to brought her back to the 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 safe place radhika was surprised priya i was the one who did wrong to you how could you help me she said well i love jesus and jesus told to help each other and that's why i helped you radhika was so shameful she said i'm so sorry priya i hurt you i made you guys separated i will only resolve it so she ran to riya and she said riya you know what priya never took your book i was the one who put the book at to create a separation between you and she was so upset but because priya forgave uh, radhika even riya forgave radhika and now you know what they are three best friends together so what do you learn from the story of jonathan and david and priya and riya we learn that as friends we need to be faithful with one another we should respect one another love one another but you might say i don't have friends only i want to tell you a good news today the jesus who created the entire universe wherever whatever you see is created by jesus he wants to be your friend he wants to come into your heart and stay with you forever what a good news right if you want jesus to be your friend please close your eyes and say this prayer after me dear lord jesus i believe that you are a true living god please forgive me for all my sins come into my heart and be my friend i love you jesus thank you jesus amen if you said this prayer Jesus is your friend forever now. 
God bless you children. Have a beautiful day. Dear children, I hope you enjoyed your classes today. I believe that you have learned something valuable and you were more wiser than before. Yay! We request you to please join us tomorrow again at 11 a.m. on the Way Bible Schools channel to enjoy this camp. Don't miss fun. We remind you again to please subscribe to our channel and share it with all your friends and families. See you tomorrow. Children, Bible tells us that bad company will corrupt good character. So it's always a right thing to pick up good friends. I hope you learned in today's lesson that good company will make you a wiser person. Let's ask God for that wisdom in our life. Prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for the lessons that you taught me today that having good friends is always a right thing to do is always a wise decision to make if only i'm going in wrong way lord help me to have a careful thought at my ways and change my paths and make right friends in my life today i also pray for my friends who are going in wrong ways who are making wrong choices of other lord help them to understand that it is wrong to go in such ways and it ruins their lives it makes them fall into pit lord help me and my friends to have good friendships of other and to go help me to go in the right ways in jesus name i pray amen